Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of Math Behind the Modules. This is lesson five, solving problems and finding equivalent ratios. So we have an example one here. A county superintendent of highways is interested in the numbers of different types of vehicles that regularly travel within his county. In the month of August, a total of 192 registrations were purchased for passenger cars and pickup trucks at the local DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles. The DMV reported that in the month of August, for every five passenger cars, for every, there's our keyword for a ratio, for every five passenger cars registered, there were seven pickup trucks. So the ratio is five to seven. How many of each type of vehicle were registered in the county in the month of August? Okay. So it says using the information in the problem, write four different ratios describing the meaning of each and describe the meaning of each. So first thing I would do is let's see. Oh, let's say cars to trucks. For every five cars, there were seven trucks. That would be a ratio of five to seven. And that is not the whole. The total is 12. Okay, so if I said for every five passenger cars registered, there were seven pickup trucks registered. That's a difference, or that's a total of five cars, seven trucks. That's a total of 12 vehicles. Okay, so this is a part, and that's a part. So that would be a part to part ratio. I can also switch this around now. I can say trucks to cars. Trucks seven, cars five. This is still part to part ratio. Okay. Then I could do cars to, let me use the word to. Cars to um, total vehicles. That's a little mess. Let me fix this. Cars to total vehicles. And there are five cars to the total, which is 12. And that is a part to whole ratio. Okay. And then finally, one more. Seven, now let's not skip what we're talking about first. Cars to total, now let's do trucks to total. So it'd be trucks to total vehicles. Running out of room here, I'll abbreviate. Trucks to total vehicles, and that'd be seven to 12, and that is a part to whole ratio. B, make a tape diagram that represents the quantities in the part-to-part -part ratios that you wrote. Well, we're talking about cars, and we're talking about trucks. And there were five cars, so here's one, two, three, four, five. Trucks, there were one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's a tape diagram representing five cars to seven trucks. C says, how many equal size parts does this tape diagram consist of? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are twelve equal sized parts. Mine don't look equal, but it's hard to write with this pen, so just assume that you're Five, 12 equal sized parts. Okay, now part D says, what total quantity does the tape diagram represent? And the total diagram that it represents is the 192 vehicles, okay, which is right here. 
192 total. He says, what value does each individual part on the tape diagram represent? Okay, so in order to determine this, we know that there are 192 total vehicles. We know that there are 7 plus the 5 or 12 pieces in the tape diagram. So if I take 192 divided by 12, 12 goes into 19 once with a remainder of 7. 72, 12 goes into 72 six times. So each square represents 16 cars or vehicles. How many of each type of vehicle were registered in August? Okay, well, if I go back and look at my tape, then I know that these are all 16. This is 16, 16, 16, 16, 16, because all tape pieces in a tape diagram have to be equivalent. And we took the 192 divided by 12, and that's 16. So the number of cars is 16 times 5, and the number of trucks is 16 times 7. So cars are, well, let's not use equal, so it's going to be an equation. Cars are 16 times the 5 squares, and the trucks is the 16 times the 7 squares. So to get the total here, that would be 80. And 7 times 6 is 42. Choose colors. 7 times 6 is 42. Carry the 4. 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4. So, that. so there are 80 cars, 112 trucks. And if I do add those up, I do get the 192 total. It's just to check again. Okay. Example 2. The superintendent of highways is further interested in the number of commercial vehicles that frequently use the county's highways. Now a commercial vehicle is like a large truck, like a dump truck, tractor trailer, that kind of thing. Those are commercial vehicles. He obtains information from the Department of Motor Vehicles for the month of September and finds that for every 14 non-commercial vehicles, there are five commercial. So there's our, that's how we start with our tape diagram. Okay. For every means that we have a Ratio. 14 non-commercial, 5 commercial. So I'm going to start off by saying non-commercial and commercial. And the ratio is 14 to 5. Okay, so to draw this, I want... Oops, it's really difficult to do here, so just give me a sec. I'm just going to try doing it this way so it's deeper. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So for commercial, I only have to go down one, two, three, four, five, which is about here. Just trying to make these the same size. And there are five squares for the commercial vehicles. So there's our tape diagram. It says, if there were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial vehicles, how many of each type of vehicle frequently uses these county highways during the month of September? Yeah. So the key word here is more than. There were 108 more non-commercial vehicles than commercial. Well, the non-commercial commercial are even here. So the more than would be this here, and that is 108. And since there were 14 
squares and five of them are equal to the commercial, then there are 14 minus five or nine squares. Nine squares that equal 108. So if I say nine S for squares equals 108, then I need to divide by nine to find out how many squares that is. 108 divided by nine, and that equals 12. So every single one of these squares is 12, and so are all these. They're all 12. These are all 12, every single one. Okay, so the question says, how many of each type of vehicle frequently use the county's highways? So I'm just going to use a abbreviation here. Non-commercial is going to be here. And non-commercial is the number of total squares, which was 14. So that's 14, and each square is worth 12. So non-commercial is 12 times 14. Well, 12 times 12 is 144 plus another 24. 168, 168 non-commercial vehicles. Commercial vehicles would be these five squares times 12, which is 60. 168 plus 60 equals a total of 228 vehicles. Okay, how many of each type of vehicle will use the highways in the month of September? 168 non-commercial, 60 commercial, totaling 228 vehicles. Okay, I answered more than it was asked, but that's okay. Exercise 5. The ratio of the number of people who own a smartphone to the number of people who own a flip phone is 4 to 3. If 500 more people own a smartphone than a flip phone, how many people own each type of phone? Okay. So I could do a tape diagram here, and I could go like this. So ratio of smart smartphone to flip phone it is 4 to 3. So if I drew a tape diagram here, one, two, three, four squares. Flip phone is three squares. Okay. The ratio of the number of people who own is four to three. If 500 more people own a smartphone than a flip phone, how many people own each type of phone? Well, that answer right there, 500 more own a smartphone. That means this is the more amount. That one square is one more than three. This is the overage for the smartphones. So every square is worth 500. So 500 times four is 2,000 people have a smartphone. And if these are all 500, 500 times three equals 1,500 people own a flip phone. And the total is 3,500 people. And that is a difference of 500. And that is a ratio of 4 to 3. So tape diagrams make it really easy. I know they might be new to you and you don't think it's confusing, but once you get the hang of it, it really does make some of these word problems easier. All right, number two. Sammy and David were selling water bottles to raise money for new football uniforms. Sammy sold five water bottles for every three that David sold. So we have Sammy. I'm just doing tapes here. And we have David. Okay. And Sammy sold five. One, two, three, four, five. And David sold three. So it's five to three. Together they sold 160 water bottles. Together they have five plus three, which is eight squares. So eight, I'll just say S for squares, equals 160. So what we're going to do is divide the total 160 by the number of squares. 
and we get each square is equal to 20. 160 divided by 8 is 20. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 20, 40, 60. That totals 160. How many did each boy sell? Well, this is 20, and these are all 20. Okay, they're all 20. Let me just do that. So this is going to equal, let me move this out of the way. All this over here. Okay, so this is going to be, this S each square is 20. So it's 20 times 5, which equals 100. And this is 20 times 3, which is 60. And that does add up to 100. All right, number three. Mr. John and Miss Sybil were folding report cards to send home to parents. The ratio of the number of report cards Miss John folded to the number of report cards Miss Sipple folded was two to three. So I'm going to use J for John and S for Sipple, and it is two to three. So this is what my tape diagram will look like. John has two, Sipple has three. At the end of the day, Miss John and Miss Sibyl folded a total of 300 report cards. So off to the side here, I have five squares. So five squares is going to equal 300. So if I take that 300 and divide by how many squares we have, then each square is worth 60. So this is 60, and this is 60, and so on, and so on. So John is 60 times 2, which is 120. And simple is 60 times 3, which is 180. 180 plus 120 does total 300. Okay, hopefully you're getting the hang of this. As a count, count country concert, the ratio of the number of boys to the number of girls is 2 to 7. Right, boys, girls, number of boys, 2, 2 girls, the word 2, tells us what goes first and second, and this is my two. So boys is two, and girls is two, four, six, seven. Okay, so two to seven. There are 250 more girls than boys. So the more than is this portion. That is total 250. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares. There are 250 more girls than boys. So if I take the total of 250 and divide it by 5, I get 50. Each square is worth 50. So I'll just take the time to show you all this. Because every square in the tape has to be equal. 50, 50, 50, 50. So now I know that boys is 50 times 2, which is 100 boys, and girls is 50 times 7, which is 350. And the difference of 350 and 100 is definitely 250. Okay. How many boys are at the concert is the answer to the, or the question that's being asked, and the answer is 100. So I'll always go back and read what they're asking. I always answer, some, well not always, but usually answer more than what's being asked, and part of the solution, the answer is that. Okay, that is the end of lesson five. Go do your problem set.